What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is quite dark, it was uh, sunny earlier on, but myself and T, we were busy just uh, sorting out a few parts for different cars. So we just got back from picking up some parts, not for the Fiesta, but for the cc 23 So we're gonna do a quick video just showing you around the car, and what's, uh, what's happened to the Fiesta since you last saw it. So the last time you guys saw the car, uh, it didn't start a drive, the battery was completely dead, and uh, the car did not respond to the fob. So since then, we've took the car down to have the keys coded, so the question is, will the car start? So let's show them if it starts or not. Well, the good news is the battery is no longer dead. So if we put my foot down on the clutch, press start button. There we have it guys, the car does start. And uh, yeah, it seems to be all right. There's no uh, sounds coming from the engine. There's no like, you know, weird noises coming from the engine. There we go guys, uh, sounds perfectly fine, there's no issues with that. Uh, so now you can basically start ordering parts of the car. Um, so we have actually started ordering parts to be honest. Uh, we've actually purchased a driver side uh, side skirt. So yeah guys, we have got the uh, driver side skirt in blue. So uh, I think that was like £30, so that's cheap anyway, so it's not bad. It will need a repaint, but to be fair, this also needs a repaint as well. All these disc scratches, you can't really get rid of those unless you paint the whole thing so yeah guys another part that I've uh, purchased is the back box for the car I think I paid uh, 70 pounds for a back box and uh, it actually looks mint uh, I haven't collected it just yet but the guy is local to us I think it's like a 10 minute drive so we are gonna pick that up soon yeah so we've got the back box we've got the uh, drive side skirt we've also got the rear fog light as well as you, as you guys know it is cracked from back here so we've got one of these to replace this one that's quite cheap to be honest, I think it's like £20 for a rear fog light but we didn't have to pay £20 because we've actually got one lying around in the workshop so we're just going to put that straight on once we take this back down to the workshop guys now, if you remember the diffuser, if you come around this way, if you remember the diffuser guys it is, it is slightly burnt so what I was thinking is, basically clean it up and kind of just weld it back together yeah I think you'd be able to do that because if you were to weld it back together I think it would look fine it's just, you know the clips themselves, the clips are actually melted off That's why it's kind of like all weird looking But if you weld it back together it should be fine I mean I think this little lip alone is it's like 80 quid The cheapest one that I found so You know I want to keep this on a budget, I don't want to spend too much on the car This is a budget build so yeah Guys we do have another issue with the car And that is the locking nuts Now this is a special type of locking nut And they're very hard to break off now the ridges on this locking nut at the very back of the locking nut so it's hard to take these off even if you break them off it's not easy so there's two things we can do we can either go to the dealership uh, once we've got the log book and uh, we can actually get a quote on how much it is for the locking nut key if it's too much what we can do is we're just going to break this one off the plan is to basically weld on uh, a regular uh, a regular nut onto there and then just use a breaker bar and just break it off do you reckon that will work? Yeah, I reckon that would work. Yeah, but just weld on top of there. Got like a little aluminium cap on there. If you break that cap off, yeah. And then you get oh, this is a cap. Part. Yeah, that's a little cap that is. I don't know that. So once you break that cap off, yeah. After you've broken that cap off, I reckon, yeah. Just weld a knot onto there. Just, weld a knot onto yeah. there, and that's it. it. Should come off hopefully. This one. Yeah, <laughs> that would be the cheaper option. Because I know the locking nuts are quite yeah, cheap. Yeah, I think locking nuts. I think they're going for a tenner on eBay. Yeah, something like ten twenty quid. Something yeah, like. something like that. Coming around this way, I realise. The end cap for the skirt is missing, so if you look down there, you'll see that there's normally a cap that sits back here and it stops all the gunk from the tyre going into the uh, skirt. So we have to order one of those, I think that's about another 30 quid right there. Yeah. I actually thought it was on there, but it's obviously not. Uh, the bonnet as well, guys. I've been looking around, the cheapest one that I found, it's like £70, pounds, but it has got a slight bit of damage, so I might buy it, I might not, I might just get a copy one. Because if you get a copy one, it'll be brand new and it'll cost you about £75 and it'll be absolutely mint. But the only issue is, I don't want the uh, the alignment or the fitment to be off. I want it to be OEM, so uh, I'm in two thoughts right now. If I should get the original with a bit of damage or shall I get the uh, copy one, with uh, which is basically brand new. So yeah. I reckon you should wait for a white one to come through. The only problem is, I did, I did see a white one and it was on for £60 and £40 for delivery. I don't want to pay £100, you know, for a white bonnet I'd rather just get yeah. one on the budget yeah. even if it means painting you don't mind because you have to paint uh, panels regardless yeah so yeah <clears throat> I'll be 
one thing I want to do is I want to keep these bumper guys. I know it's quite a bit, of, uh, quite a bit of damage down here, but the plan is to basically plastic weld it. You can put a metal sheet on the back of it. You guys have probably seen Z do this before. Uh, he's going to basically plastic weld that back together, and uh, once he's done with it, you can't even tell that it was uh, cracked from there. Uh, under the bonnet, let's see what we need. I think it's just one or two plastics that we need. Mm, the lug broke up yet, though. the headlock right there. Yeah, the plastic roll that back on. Yeah, the plastic roll that one back on. That one, it looks like the lug broke as well on that. Slightly cracked. Same again, we just plastic roll it. Yeah, I'll talk about that. Best thing to do is if you take this down to the workshop, we can work on GTR and the uh, ST at the same time. Yeah, so I think while he's working on the GTR, you can just be working on the, uh, the ST. Yeah, I think they're not, there's not much left on the GTR now. No, it's so, not. Uh, I mean, it's almost there now. Yeah, it's almost there now. It's almost ready. I reckon by the time this car's done, the, the GTR will be done as well. Yeah, hopefully. Guys, hopefully. let us know if you want to see the ST face the GTR. We'll give the ST a, tw a 10 second head start. We'll do a one mile drag. What do you reckon, T? I reckon GTR still have it. Still have it, yeah? Still have it. You know what I quite like? The DRLs. They look really good, they do. Yeah, they're Suits very, the car. very, on camera, they're very bright. You need to order a tow pack as well. There might be some uh, undercarriage uh, panels missing as well. You know, the uh, under trays. Well, obviously we're not going to know unless we jack the car up. Yeah. I have ordered the rear lights as well guys, but I've had a bit of bad luck. Like, these ST rear lights, you get a bit of chrome down here, and you get like a chrome trim that runs up here as well like this. Uh, the problem is, the guy that sent me the lights, he sent me the wrong lights, he sent me the older Fiesta lights. It's the same shape, but the inside of the lights are a little different. So uh, I need to send those back and order another one as well. So we've taken these uh, top strips off, and we've tried to uh, scratch away at the uh, wrap. And one thing realize is that is not a wrap that's actual paint and uh, if you open the, the boot you'll see overspray back here as well so we're kind of stuck with the black roof now so guys uh, i'm in two thoughts right now i don't know if we should keep the black roof or just paint it white again so comment down below what we should do should we just keep it as it is or should we paint that white i mean it doesn't look too bad but i, I prefer it white but let me know what you guys think Another thing I realise is, you know the lights and the, the door sill, it's not working, this side here. So we'll have to get that sorted out as well. So on the inside of the car, what we have done is, uh, we've hidden the OBD port. Now if you look inside this little compartment here, there's no OBD inside there. Normally there'll be an OBD port just there. And uh, the way you take it off is, it's just two clips. You unhook it from the two clips and it just pops straight out. And you, you, can, you can basically relocate it wherever you want. So the reason why we're taking that out and relocated it is because we don't want no one to nick the car. So what a lot of people do is they plug the computer in, they type in some codes, and basically without having the keys, they can start your car and they'll be off. So obviously we don't want that to happen, so that's why we relocated the OBD. It's uh, easy to do guys, and uh, I'll definitely recommend it to anyone that owns uh, a Ford with the uh, keyless entry. We should have done a video on it, but it's literally just two clips guys. Literally anyone can do it. Just take the two clips out, and you can relocate the OBD wherever you want. You don't have to be a professional, it's just easy. You just need a flat screwdriver and that's it. So yeah, that's been hidden. Flat Another thing you can do- Flat screwdriver and a yeah. uh, couple of uh, tie clips. Oh yeah, that as well. Yeah. You, you don't want it flopping around. Yeah, exactly. You don't want it rattling around the car. Yeah. Anyways guys, I'm going to turn the car off now. Um, there's not much really been going on on the Fiesta ST to be honest. Um, one of you guys did recommend that we try nail polish to remove this uh, paint off. We tried it and uh, it didn't really work. Uh, we tried a couple of solutions as well. Uh, nothing worked, so obviously we're gonna have to order new rear lights. It's getting really dark now and uh, we are gonna end the video there. Uh, I'm hoping next week, Wednesday, we'll have a lot more parts uh, for the Fiesta ST as well. We are still looking around, but obviously we wanna buy the parts for a good price. I don't wanna pay too much for them. So yeah guys, that is the video on the Fiesta. So before we go, just comment down below, black roof or white roof. Let us know what you think, because uh, it is a lot of work trying to get that back to uh, white again. But I don't mind a black roof. If you've got to have a black roof, I don't mind it. But the rims have definitely got to go. I'm not a fan of the black rims. We're going to definitely uh, take these back to the original colour, which is uh, silver. So guys, we are going to end the video there. It is a short one, but we've been busy all day. And we thought we'd just put this video together for you guys, just so you got the video for Wednesday. So yeah, we'll end it there, and we'll see you guys on the next video, which will hopefully be a GTR video. 
uh, which will be up on Saturday, I'm hoping. So yeah, guys, we'll see you there.